you know, yesterday after much hemming and hawing about where this window should sit in there, I'm really reduced to, I have to keep this edge here. I won't have enough width with this going in here. And then the boards that I have coming across to fill it in. I kind of am limited in terms of what I can do with, with putting this up here. And what I can do with the window with keeping it level. Remember we're plumb but we're not level. So I took that little angle bracket here. It's a 90 degree angle bracket. And I want it to be that my sill, the part of my window right here, meets up with the way the rest of the place is. If you notice, when they put siding on, they try to line it up that the siding hits right where the sill hits there, or where the sill is. And it's like that for all the windows. See how the window sill hits right here with that? So I wanted to make sure that 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 was the case. So I put that bracket down in the spot where my sill is going to be just below where it is. Now it's not going to be identical on both sides there because it's not, I'm not going to be at the same angle at, at, at the rest of the half places. So on the back of the piece here, the back of the frame, you can see some lines that are on there. Those are different angles where I had it set from the from the bracket there to see what looked right. So here's what I went with. Now the thing is how to hold it on here. And I'm going to use these clamps. And the bring it down to my line. Right there. That's the way it's going to sit. My trim will fit in between the components and work its way up to the side there. I still have to cut out the top and cut out the bottom. So by the end of today, uh, we should have that window in. I'm going to show you in the next video how I'm going to cut that top and bottom out. There's a couple ways of doing it. Uh, 
when I did this one here. I had all the stuff in the middle there that I screwed onto to put a straight edge to take my circular saw across. This time, since I have all that removed there, and I don't necessarily want to be putting extra extra holes from screws holding straight edges into the sides here, I'm going to uh, do it with a different tool, um, a vibratory tool, and I'll show you that next video.